Hi, in this video I will talk about the, uh, the surahs that Moses is going somewhere to uh, receive uh, some message. Uh, so let's read this verse. We sum summoned Moses for 30 nights and completed them by adding 10. Thus the audience with his Lord lasted forty nights. <coughs> Moses said to his brother Aaron, Stay here with my people, maintain righteousness, and do not follow the ways of the corruptors. So this is consistent. Here we see the consistent story that Aaron was has helped. And another thing that God has allowed Aaron to be his assistant, Moses' assistant. When Moses came at the hour appointed time and his Lord spoke with him, he said, My Lord, let me look and see you. He said, You cannot see me. Look at that mountain. If it stays in this place, then you can see me. Then his Lord manifested himself to the mountain, and this caused it to crumble. Moses fell unconscious. When he came to, he said, Be you glorified. I repent to you. I am the most convinced believer. He said, O oh Moses, I have chosen you out of all the people, with my messages and by speaking to you. Therefore, take what I have given you and be appreciative. We wrote for him on the tablets all kinds of enlightenments and details of everything. You shall uphold these teachings strongly and exhort to your people to uphold them. These are the best teachings. I will point out for you the fate of the wicked. So here, in this surah, we see that Moses needs some alone time, and Moses is generally with other people. So maybe this is about the community, and in another surah we see that, sorry, when Moses said to people of his house, I have seen afar, they, they translated it differently, I have seen afar, I may either bring some of information from there or a burning that you may warm yourself. So it's sort of a unusual uh, translation. So, and uh, this is, so this is in another surah, we see that. And he, Moses is still not alone in this surah. So it's like somehow uh, always needs to separate it. So that, that and it, it has some consistencies. It's like maybe in that culture, they don't, they're not really uh, spend time alone. So, but to have the tablets being written, and he should, uh, he should be separated from the family for a while. So this, these surahs separately, they're consistent. So here, uh, so said to his family to go to, and and also we know that it's interesting that. They are asking permission, uh, he's asking permission to leave, like there is separation. And in Musa's, Musa's uh, uh, story, in another story, we see, we see that uh, Musa is sort of uh, separated from his, his mom too. Someone else, uh, someone else uh, take care of Musa. And he's uh, part. Uh, and the Paro's wife saw, saw him and adopt him, as we know from the Quran, the Surah. So there is another separation there, and it, it, that story teaches us that one day there, there may be some separation, but it will not cause bad trouble. And here we saw the same thing too. So that's all I want to say in this video, and thanks for watching this video, and God knows better. Hope to see you in the next video.